Hello everyone and welcome back to the final part of the Champions Chassis Variant series. Here we are with the clan-busting, comguard-wielding Champion 3N. Uh, this is a model that was built specifically for the comguard forces uh, prior to the Battle of Tukid, where they engaged all of the invading clans at the time. Uh, the reason it's called a clan buster is essentially some major upgrades or changes to the existing champions that they had equipped at the time. Uh, this involved uh, adding more weaponry to it in the form of two large lasers, uh, whereas the rest of the equipment remains largely the same. Uh, obviously adding two large lasers meant uh, losses in certain areas, this being armour, um, which is already one of the issues for the champion anyway, uh, at least in the write-up, is that the uh, champion was always considered to be under-armoured and under-gunned for its weight. So this was something of a compromise. Part of it is lessened by the fact that this is the only champion that comes default with an XL engine, which on paper sounds like a great idea, in practice it's a terrible idea, because as I mentioned in the 2M video, the side torsos on this thing are fucking massive, and even the Death Star won't have trouble firing on this thing. So you would probably be best to heavily customize this one. This is actually the one I least like out of all the champions that are available in the game. It's the only one that has arm-mounted hard points, which are two energy. Uh, it has a grand total of six energy hard points spread right across the mech, with one missile and one ballistic. So it's got a lot of options. The problem is, is that uh, the arms that were once shields for you on the previous versions are now actually kind of important and uh, that's where your two large lasers are stored. Uh, another major issue with this is the fact that the arms don't really have that much armour even when they're maxed out and they stick out like a sore thumb and are very easy to target. They're usually one of the first things that get blown off the mech in the first place so having two energy hard points in there, don't expect them to last long unless you intend on using this as some kind of uh, sniping mech that's going to stay at the back of the field. As you can also see, another issue with having arm hard points so wide in, in close spaces is that one of your weapons is guaranteed to always hit the wall next to you. Another major issue. The torso mounted ones aren't as big a deal, the arm ones are a pain in the ass. So yeah, it, it needs space basically, it needs its own space. It has to be coddled and hugged and told it's, it's very good and that it's doing a great job, but the arm torso, are, uh, sorry, the arm mounted points are shite. Uh, in fact, you probably you know what you probably just better dropping them. If you get the three N, don't even bother. Just just focus it like the other champions. But don't even buy the three N. It's, it's not worth it. It's terrible. I mean, it's, that, that's the fact now. It's just bad compared to the the one N and the two N, uh, and the one MB. Yeah, the one MB kicks the crap out of this thing. I mean, then all these weapons in that thing are torso mounted. Yeah, don't bother. This, this is it. This, that, that's just it. That's the review there and then. Don't go with the three N. It sucks. Uh, it's it's too hot, that's another issue. Uh, good luck trying to use all the hard points and trying to keep the speed and trying to keep the armor up to a decent level. It's an impossible juggling act. You won't be able to do it. Uh, you know, coupled with the fact that the thing is huge, it's not exactly an easy target uh, to ignore for most enemy players. The, the thing does kind of make itself kind of obvious. It's such a unique silhouette. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's just bad. It, the com the com girls had a great time of it. You know, tabletop. It's a great mech because you know random hit locations mean that you don't have to worry too much about arms sticking out and such. Because hey, random dice, you know, RNG and all that shit. But in this case, it just no. Oh, it it has so much trouble. And uh, this this was the reason. It was the only one I died in. And at this point, I'd had enough. So I'm I'm dead at this point. But I kept it because uh, it was near the end of the round anyway. At this point. Um, uh, th this this match was classic mining collective. Uh, he who grabs the center as a death ball shall win. Uh, the enemy team split a little, and although they they did give us a, a spirited uh, attempt at trying to uh, retake the top, uh, they had to come in piecemeal. Unfortunately, the team managed to uh, chew them up and kill them. I, I like to think that I, I contributed a little bit, but I honestly think that my performance in this one was the worst of the three. I have to say, uh, and the 4 as well, considering uh, the original gameplay video of the 1N, so... Yeah, uh, I'm just not very impressed with the 3M. I'm sure there are probably good builds that can come out of it, but I just don't see the use in the arm hard points. They're just kind of perfunctory, they don't add that much to it. It's a mech that works far better with its torso-mounted weaponry than, than its arm-mounted stuff, so... Yeah, seriously, steer clear of this one uh, for the... Uh, the extra two hard points, it's not worth it. You can do better with the other variants that are available. Uh, the one MB, as I mentioned earlier, it's got four energy in the left torso and four ballistics in the right. You could probably do much better with that. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we have a good week, 
and I'll see you next week for more uh, chassis variant videos. Have a good one all. Bye.